hello there guys, Bulobo10000 here, bringing you another Super Smash Bros. Ultimate discussion video, and today, we are once again discussing the leak that was covered in yesterday's video, the Smash Bros. Grinch leak, the mural leak, the one that has leaked seven characters for this game, potentially, if it is true, because it is still alive, it is still kicking, both sides are fighting, I'm hashtag team real, and I'm gonna keep fighting for this leak no matter what, so... There has been a lot of extra stuff that has been discovered since the last video, and I wanted to go over everything I could. I have got a whole bunch of, like, pictures and tabs and stuff open, and this is not a scripted video because I don't have time to script it today, but I am going to go through everything as I can. So we're going to try and go through it as chronologically as possible, and we're going to start with a look at the company Marina PLV. So, effectively, last time uh, we covered this leak yesterday, uh, I mentioned that the person who leaked this had their LinkedIn page discovered, and it turns out that, yes, uh, that page had links to a company called Marina PLV. However, it was then discovered that there was a second page for the same person, same education, same information, for a different company. So, first things first, people started to bark up Marina PLV because they actually had ties with Bandai Namco, and they ended up actually replying to everyone on their Facebook page in French. Here is the French post for anyone who wants to translate it, there it is. However, somebody on Smashboards was kind enough to actually translate it themselves, which is very kind of them. So, the person on Smashboards who translated this was none other than President Wario, and he says, uh, this is the translation. Rumors of privacy leak on the latest version of the Super Smash Bros. game report are linked to our company. All these rumors only support one idea. Journalism is not limited to searching Google. Indeed, the person involved in this rumor, if so, is no longer present in our company since November 2016, which has not put its LinkedIn profile up to date. Some wanted to make a reproachment with the Marina workshops that cannot exist. Namco is a company we have worked with and with which we want to work again. This is not the case currently for the launch of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. We are now contact- oh, these rumors are therefore discrediting our widely recognized professionalism, particularly with regard to our confidentiality commitments. We are now contacting all these sites and Namco slash Nintendo to remove this false information and evaluate the judicial suites to be given the Marina team. So what this basically means is that everyone harassed these guys so much that they had to make a statement, which is not cool. But they have confirmed that this person no longer works at their company, and it's been two years since they last worked at their company. Now, this is why the person had a second LinkedIn account, as someone on Reddit actually pointed out here. So upon further investigation, I don't think this means anything. There are two LinkedIn accounts for this person. The former is the one that links Marina PLV, the latter one links ACP PLV, where he's worked for one year and eight months. They list the same education, so it's clearly the same person, so this li uh, lines up with him leaving Marina PLV in November 2016, assuming he got the new job a couple of months later. We might have been wrong about which printing company this was from all along. The leak might be from ACP PLV and not Marina PLV. I'm a little less confident in his leak than I was a day ago, but I don't think it's dead quite yet. And then, someone posted this on Smashboards, and there is an image I'll show you guys in a moment, and it says, Shows the process that ACP PLV uses to make cutouts which matches up with the Grinch leak. Now, this picture that was saved and shown, I also have that because, oh, I've been looking at everything. Uh, we've got a lovely picture here, and this is a little picture for this company. So... Uh, promotional video for ACP PLV shows a design process that is done using AutoCAD. Now, if you look in the top left of this, on the official leak picture, there are AutoCAD commands. That is already a pretty interesting thing. Uh, if you look down at the bottom there as well, it says the same style of printing for the designs in the leak are in the promotional video for the company, which I believe you can find on YouTube. It's just a normal promotional video. So, this really lines up. 
And obviously this company hasn't made a statement, but they can't, because if they are on an NDA, they're not allowed to make a statement, and if they do make a statement in any way, it could jeopardize uh, whether this is true or not. So harassing these companies is not going to help in the slightest, because even if they are working with this uh, Super Smash Brothers to create these infographics, they're not allowed to tell anyone. So, well, I don't think that uh, it's worth harassing them anymore. That being said, this is a lot of really good proof that this is a potentially real leak. I mean, I already am on Team Real, and this is kind of just adding to it, which I, I absolutely love. I love the fact that it's still adding to it. So, another thing to note is that this new company also has made gaming stuff before. They made some Assassin's Creed cardboard stuff for Ubisoft, so clearly they do work with some game companies, which is interesting. Now, there is actually something else completely different, uh, nothing to do with the companies. It's all about that goddamn board, that, that goddamn image, the, the, the main banner. So, it turns out that there has actually been a blank battlefield before this leak. It was on a rather huge billboard during E3, and nobody seemed to remember this because it was at E3, and obviously you can't just go and look at E3 now because it's already done, but somebody over on 4chan has actually compiled a reason why the, uh, the background at E3 doesn't look like the background that we see in the leak and why it may not matter. So let's take a little look at this image here. Everyone is now currently saying the leak is now fake because the background is missing artifacts that are present in the E3 background. For example, uh, the E3 background that was shown off looks a lot more detailed, has a lot more like crystals, some of the clouds are a bit different, etc, etc. Uh, but after some research, I found out that the background has changed since E3. It already looks like the Battlefield artwork has changed. Take a look at the end of the August Direct trailer where the new characters were added, and there are big blank spaces. Circled is a castle next to Zelda, which seems to be in the leaked artwork, but not the original Battlefield. Considering it's a clearer image, you'd think its distinctive spires would be more pronounced if it were there. The waterfall behind Snake, Lucario, etc. also seems a lot less detailed, and I wouldn't be surprised if that was to make the foreground characters stand out more and not get lost in the noise. TLDR, the leak can't be fucking debunked as fake because the background is different as the background has changed since E3, which leads it more likely to being real. Now to go off of this even further, these images change every time they are updated, and customers, when it comes to graphic design, will usually ask for different changes every time they change the image, because people are quite fickle, you know? Some one day you'll like this sort of style, and then one day you'll want to change the artwork a little bit again. And it does make sense that because we know this image changes, we know that characters get moved around and swapped around, that, you know, uh, the background might change. Another reason why I think potentially, and this is me personally speculating here, just a warning, why I think that the background in the leak is a little bit less detailed is because if we looked at it, it looked like the picture on the right was for a wristband, even though I don't think that's entirely... Uh, it was entirely being developed for a wristband, it was being developed for like a chandelier uh, sort of thing that you have uh, in gaming conventions. But uh, if, he, if they are making wristbands out of this as well, then you would want less detail on the wristband overall because that would take less resources to like print out onto the paper. The more resources you have, uh, the more detailed it is. It's probably better for larger paintings or, or bigger pieces of paper where you can actually see those details. Whereas on a small wristband, you just want to make sure that the characters look as well. You wouldn't want to put as much detail into the background because it could actually affect the character's quality. Just think about how Smash 3DS and Smash Wii U look against each other. Smash 3DS was for a smaller console, so all of the graphics were scaled down. If this image was being created for uh, a, a wristband, then it would have to be scaled down to actually look better. Now, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong about this. This is That was just completely my own speculation there, but uh, that's what I personally think about that anyway. And on top of all of this, because there is more, there is, there is more. So... Mystic Distance on Twitter and Spawnwave, this is according to Flappy Falco on Smashboards, have said that they uh, think the uh, leak is real, but there are more characters remaining. 
Uh, Spawn Wave specifically thinks that there is a character that isn't Incineroar remaining. However, the biggest news for me, and this is something I found out when I woke up, is that fellow Smash YouTuber and awesome content creator Papa Gino's, I will link his video down below, has actually got his own source at Microsoft, or he has a friend who knows a source at Microsoft, I believe that was the story, who can confirm that Banjo is in, and that they have heard about the seven characters, including Banjo, who are on the Grinch leak, but I believe that he said that they also had heard Incineroar. So now it becomes a case of, is this leak the final roster, or is it still gonna be updated past this, assuming this roster is true? And Honestly, I think this information, this whole situation, it is not going to be resolved by the fan base. I think people are going to be arguing about this all the way up until another direct, and I don't think anything can disprove or prove this until we get an official reveal from Nintendo. The reason for this being there are enough points with this leak for Team Real to be like, yes, this is real, this is true, you can't just debunk this with like a few little nitpicky things because it's the same as the ESRB from 2014. But at the same time, all the people who are trying to debunk it as fake, I mean, it could be fake and we simply just won't know until uh, an announcement comes along. It's just that good of a fake if it is fake. So really, it's just a case of we need to wait and see. We need to exercise some more patience and just see what happens. I do find it interesting, obviously, uh, someone actually contacted uh, the person who who had their LinkedIn profiles looked at and apparently they don't know anything about it But obviously if you're an under an NDA or if you're suspected of leaking something You're not gonna say anything regardless of whether you leaked it or not. So It could go either way really, but I personally am still on team real I'm really hyped for the potential characters and even then even if it's fake I still think Isaac's coming at least so you know, it's cool. Uh, but anyways, I think uh, that is that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if there are any more updates to this leak, I will let you guys know straight away. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, links to all my sources that I used in this video can be found down below, as long as I can remember the sources. Some of them I might just have pictures, you know, uh, but we'll see. Um, thank you very much everyone for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, please consider hitting that, uh, that, 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 um, that, that button down below links to my Discord because we got a we got a fun Smash place. This 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 outro is going horrifically wrong. This is what happens when I don't script my videos. I have a Discord. I've mentioned it many times. We've just hit 750 members. We're going for 800. It's pretty awesome. We talk about Smash. We talk about gaming. We talk about fun stuff, and you get access to uh, updates and stuff because I like to talk there. So that's cool. And I just want to give a quick shout out before we go to my newest Patreon. I want to give a shout out to Diego Rodriguez who has recently subscribed on Patreon. I want to give a shout out to him. Thank you so much, Diego, for the subscription, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.